The lyrics enable police to investigate and profile artists despite what they're doing within the music industry. Mm. I say now it's it's a lot more prevalent. Like for an example, you got the whole Rico case with Doug. They using that nigga's lyrics, mo, playing songs in court. Like <laughs> it's like it almost it fucks me up because I think I take a, a step back, even even as an artist, because I'm thinking like, yo, mo, if what we display as art, right, is so problematic to where you can incorporate it in investigation. But why when it comes to <laughs> to like movies and depictions? of actual violence and mindsets and, and, and writers having to really dig deep into depicting the character that, that's insane, that wouldn't really be out here on these streets. Niggas don't look at the directors or anything in those realms to attach to, to, to behaviors that we, we fall victim to in America. They want to come to music and hip hop, something that is a black culture. They want to pick and dissect according to everything and then try to attach a full on understanding from the art that we display. So with that being said, I feel like it's an unfair space and I, I think our lyrics unfortunately do give a uh, open door for these people to judge us more. But that being said, it's almost it's almost like a hmm, damn if we do, damn if we don't, because this is also an outlet for us. You feel me? So yeah, it's a hard space to play because we do fall victim to the bullshit according to America. <laughs> Yeah, that 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 definitely is the truth about you know, and it and is is it because is we black that's why they want to do that? You know what I'm saying? Part. Is is that the reason and whatnot, or is it just because this is the first time this is happening and whatnot? Because any other genre, they they you know they glorify. Now there's a there's a there's a second fold to it, right? So let's go back even with the with the gangster rap. Mm -hmm. None of that stuff was really didn't happen yesterday few days ago a lot of that okay. stuff was wasn't recent a lot of that stuff with that that happened either happened in the past or somebody else did it they just seeing saying what somebody else had, right had actually did they didn't do it themselves and whatnot so what changed was what i think niggas was just keep when keeping it real just got wrong mm -hmm. you keeping know what the niggas real. was just keeping it too real mm -hmm. and whatnot instead of trying to put it or paraphrase it in a way to where it didn't jam you up you know you just came literal with whatever that bar was and whatnot. So, yeah, I mean, so it's twofold. You got to watch what you say. That's all. That's you got to definitely watch what you say. That's actually going to come back for you, especially mm -hmm. if it's on wax, caught it. All of that. You can always pull it back up. You can't mm -hmm. change your words. That's documented evidence. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. take everything literal, even if you was playing. So, yeah, you're coming after the black. Your black ass better watch your mouth. In child development, you allow your child to listen to artists with vulgar lyrics like Sex is Red or Brandy. Oh man, hell fucking yeah. I mean, listen, not even, listen, there's, there's everything. There's a, if, if you've never heard of a scientist called Pavlov, there's a, there's a test he did with dogs <laughs> where he made the dog salivate. Like That's everybody good. should know this. Where he That's made the dog salivate mm -hmm. off the sound of a bell. bell. So mm -hmm. any type of condition will give you a response. So yes, if you force feed any negative or any positive, energy into a, an influenced child of course that's going to shape them that's 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 a no-brainer you, you know what i mean and i'll say this on a different take um a lot of times the the only way i feel people fall victim to the influences of art like music <coughs> is when there's no true foundation and structure of individual self you know what i'm saying and that's where i feel like parents should be more hands-on with just uh structuring their children like of course you should be able to indulge in the in the in the arts of, of what you what you feel you like with the music or whatever, despite it being vulgar, any of that. Because for me, I used to I used to fully indulge in all all types of music, and I never once like saw it as a driving force of my life. You know what I'm saying? It was just something. Now, nah, when we was out ready to do some dumb shit, it was the locks. Ranting. So so if you if you depending on mm -hmm. your energy, depending on yeah. what state of mind you, especially ch children are impressionable, right? So. Yeah. They, they don't have the cognitive ability to discern what they're hearing. Right. Right. So the parent has to be the filter. Right. So if they're just well said, getting this information, yeah. then it's no fault to nobody else. The, the child is going to learn what, what they learn from the subconscious and what they get, mm -hmm. period. So somebody has to be the filter. Right. Like you can't stop it, but there has to be some type of blockage. Guidance. Yeah. Some guidance. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people fall victim to the bullshit because they don't have no sense of direction. Guide. Let me explain and, 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 and showcase the difference between 
okay, yes, this is this is for enjoyment and this is for the, the entertainment to fuel the, the energy that we seek in, in, in fulfillment. But despite that, the touch, your your life around what you hear and see, no. For me, be your own person and develop a, a sense of a self before you indulge and want to be in, inspired and influenced. For me, that's what I learned.